Let's talk about handling customer deposits on account. Handling customer deposits is a five-step process. The first thing we need to do is set up an account in the chart of accounts to reflect the amount of deposits we have received. Let's come here under lists and let's open our chart of accounts. Come down here and click on new. The type of, a, of account is an other current liability account. Let's talk about this for a moment. If, when you receive a deposit from a customer, if you do not perform the work, are they going to want their money back? You betcha. That's why it's an other current liability account. It's a liability to us until we perform the work and deliver to the customer. Let's name it Customer Deposits. And let's click OK. Now we have a Customer Deposits account in our chart of accounts. Next, let's talk about the second step. We're going to create an item for the deposit because we're going to invoice the customer for this deposit. Remember, whenever we want to invoice something, we must have it set up as an item. Let's come here under our lists pull down menu and let's come down to the item list. Let's choose new and let's set up an other charge item. The item name is your deposit. Description is your deposit on account. The amount varies and customer deposits are non-taxable. Here the account is the liability account we just set up. Click OK to save this new item. Here it is in the item list. Now let's move on to the third step. Our third step is to invoice the customer for the deposit. This may seem a little confusing since we already have the check in hand why would we be invoicing the customer? We invoice the customer in order to properly reflect the deposit the customer made on their account. So when we issue them a statement or look up their account records, we can see the deposit flowing through their account. So let's come here under Customers, Create Invoices. We received a deposit from Christina Andres. Let's come down here to the item cell first. Let's use the item your deposit and the amount of the deposit is one thousand dollars. Click Save and Close. Before we move on to the fourth step, let's look at a couple reports so we can see what's happened to our accounts. Let's come under Customers and let's look at the Customer Job List and you can see that Christina has a balance of $1,000. Let's also look at the Chart of Accounts and you can see we have a Customer Deposits with $1,000 here. Now, let's record the check against the invoice we just created. Let's come here under Customers, Receive Payments. Let's pull in Christina. And the amount is $1,000. Check number 104 and let's put in a memo field of deposit 
on account. Now let's click save and close and let's review our account balances. We still have customer deposits a liability of one thousand dollars here. Christina's account shows that she doesn't owe us anything right now. Now let's move on to the fifth step. We've performed the work for Christina and now we're ready to invoice her. Let's come here under customers and let's come to create invoices. Christina is already selected and let's come down here and choose our item trimming and the amount of trimming is fifteen hundred dollars. Next let's bring in the item your deposit and the amount is a negative one thousand dollars. Now her balance is five hundred dollars. Let's click, click save and close and you can see Christina owes us five hundred dollars. Let's go to the chart of accounts and you can see now our customer deposits is zero because we have performed the work now and we've now recognized it as revenue. And that's how to handle customer deposits.